All right, thanks so much, Craig. Well, I'm here with Jim Galbraith. He's the chief librarian over at Ray Cal Research Museum uh, with the Corning Mu of Museum of Glass. And now most of us know the Corning Museum, um, but right across the road is this amazing library, which you said is the biggest in the world for glass and glass making. Is that correct? It is. Um, when the Corning Museum opened in 1951, uh, it opened with two missions, and one was to form the world's most comprehensive and greatest library on glass or museum on glass. Mm -hmm. The other thing was to form the world's finest library, and the Ray Cal Research Library is the world's finest. Uh, library on glass. And now you don't need a, a, a CMOG ticket to get in, it's free. So anyone yeah. could go visit, open to the public, free. And, yes. and what is your collection? What can people expect when they go inside? Uh, we have, um, if, it, if it's published about glass, if it's made about glass, we try to collect it. We have about half a million items in our collection, everything from books, uh, to trade catalogs, auction catalogs, design drawings for glass art. We also have over 150 archives in our collection. These are uh, archives that have been donated by glass artists and also by companies. And so we have a very rich collection with a lot of uh, information in it. So. And you guys, like you said, have been around since 1951 when the, the museum opened. Yep. But people may not know about this library that's right across the street that mm -hmm. has all of this, these collections inside. So it's kind of like this hidden treasure in Corning that you could go <laughs> learn about glass and glass making, like you said. It, it really is. And, and we have a wonderful staff there, always happy to help people when they come and, and a lot of what I when we always talk about glass and everything sounds very glassy but we have a very uh, good general collection as well a lot of history a lot of antiques uh, a lot of books on architecture and so there there is a lot to appeal to a, different people there and the exhibit going on now is the Lalik exhibit is that correct it is um, there's a two there are two Lalik exhibits at mm -hmm. the Corning Museum of Glass there's one that's featuring Lalik's glass there's a second one in the in the Raycow library called designing for the next century mm. uh, works on paper by Lalik and his contemporaries and the idea being you have all the beautiful glass in the museum and we have a, a, an accompanying exhibit mm -hmm. that shows a little bit of the process behind the making of the glass, the design drawing, and talks about the various companies involved. So. Absolutely. Well, a world-class museum right here in Corning, and it's uh, Monday yep. through Saturday, 9 to 5. Exactly. All yep. right. And uh, you're a local, you said. You grew up watching WENY, so we're happy I did. to have Jim. I did. <laughs> I made it. I got here. So. Yeah, he was telling me just before the interview that he made it. He's on WENY, <laughs> so we're happy to have you here. And thank you well, for thank letting you. us know about this great treasure we have here in the Twin Tiers. Well, we appreciate it. Of course. <laughs> come back we'll have everything you need to know before you go but right now here are your winning lottery numbers thanks Jim